Hey guys, Quack and Quasar here back again with another video. In this video, I'm actually going to be playing a Skyrim Special Edition. Haven't played this game in absolutely ages. Certainly haven't done a video in, in a really long time, but I'm going to be doing it. What I'm going to be doing in this uh, in this video is giving you a modding guide, actually, a Witcher modding guide. I'm going to be showing you how to get like a witchery experience, the most Witcher like experience in Skyrim Special Edition with uh, with mods. This is a modding guide, like I said. Now, a few of the mods I'm going to be using in, well, all of the mods I'm going to be using in this video are. The Witcher Geralt Helmet mod, the Witcher 3 Geralt Starting Armor mod, and the Notice Board uh, mod. And that's a Quest mod, the third one is. I'm actually going to link all of those uh, in the description of this video to the Bethesda.net page so you can find out more about them and, you know, download them if you want to uh, get them for yourself. Now, as you can see, the first two that I uh, listed are, well, the Witcher Geralt Helmet mod and the Witcher 3 Geralt Starting Armor mod. This is like an armor or an outfit based uh, mod, both of those. As you can see, my character looks very much like uh, the Witcher 3s and the Witcher 2s and the, the Witcher's uh, main character, Geralt. It's pretty goddamn awesome, especially the helmet, because the face right now isn't actually a character's face. It is, isn't actually my, uh, my character's face at all. It's actually a goddamn helmet. How cool does that look? It looks really random just like sitting there in the middle of, uh, in the, middle of the, the, the menu screen, the item screen. But the face has actually got armor. It's got a weight, it's got armor, and it's worth 1600 gold. That's crazy. But you can actually craft this at a uh, at a forge, which I'll show you how to do in a second. And all of this armor you can craft at a forge as well. And these are included in the mods that I told you about before. It's crazy that the armor is only worth like 580, but the face is worth 1600. It's a valuable face, goddammit. Right, we'll go up to the, uh, the blacksmith forge. What you're going to want to do is go to the leather section here uh, you can find the face in daedric you don't actually need to know how to craft daedric uh, items armor and weapons you don't need the daedric crafting skill it just pops up it just allows you to make it anyway as you can see it only t it only needs leather and leather strips which is pretty easy it's like the easiest uh, item ingredients and crafting ingredients to come by in the game i think they just wanted to the mono wanted to make it as accessible to any player as possible, which is great because I'm using a level 8 character right now, so I certainly haven't got the Daedric crafting skill available. But yeah, you can see it just chilling out there. So you're going to need leather and leather strips to craft the helmet or the face. And by the way, if you unequip this helmet, if you unequip the uh, the face helmet thing, you will just go back to having a normal face. I'm an orc under here. They've somehow fit uh, an orc's ugly, massive, cumbersome face underneath this very fine and pristine Geralt helmet, which is pretty damn cool. But you go into leather for the armor. As you can see, you can see the uh, the Kerr Mohan armor, the Kerr Mohan boots, the gloves, and the pauldron. You can actually wear it without the pauldron as well. It just won't look quite as cool. That there, that armor there that you can see, that's what it'll look like without the pauldron. But you'll definitely want to use the pauldron. In terms of armor, it's not that effective. It's not as tough as possible. It's not as tough as steel armor, but it's better than iron armor, I believe. And, you know, like studded... Uh, leather armor, so it's pretty good. It's all right. It's kind of like a, a good beginner armor, and it's not that hard to uh, really craft. Now, for the uh, the actual armor, you're going to need three silver ingots, ten leather strips, and five leather pieces, or just five leather. For the boots, you're going to need a silver ingot, a single one, uh, five leather strips, and three leather. For the gloves, you're going to need a single uh, silver ingot, five leather strips, and three leather. And for the pauldrons, you're going to need two silver ingots, four leather strips, and three leather. So it's, it took me quite a while to sort of get around and get all the crafting ingredients for this. I didn't have any problem finding the leather. I had quite a bit of a problem finding silver ingots. Like I said, I'm playing with a, a low level character right now. So it was quite hard to come by the right crafting ingredients. But you, you guys, if you're using a high enough level character, you should be able to find, So you, you probably will already have silver ingots in your inventory. If not, you can just go around to most of the cities. The blacksmiths in most of the cities will have uh, silver ore. They won't have silver ingots generally, but they'll have silver ore which you can just then smelt into silver ingots. So, you know, it's not that hard to really come by. What I'm going to do uh, after this, after I've showed you like all of the mud and all the mud details, I'm going to play a little bit. I'm going to show you the, the notice board mud, which sort of completes the Witcher experience. I'm going to play it a little bit, and we're going to do some witchery quests. But I think I've covered everything for the mud. Um, I suppose I could show It's 36 armor for the, for the face, for the helmet. I'm going to go down to the uh, where the actual armor is. It's 43 armor for the, you know, the main armor cuirass or, you know, torso section. For the boots, it's 15 armor. For the gloves, it's 16. And for the pauldron, it's 6. So it's quite good. I mean, overall, I've got 116 armor rating. We can go to the steel armor here. It's got 49. So it is going to 
give you probably more, well it does, it's like a 6 improvement if you use steel armor over the normal armor, but I don't know if that takes into account the pauldrons as well, because obviously the pauldrons are like an extra added sort of piece of armor that gives you a little bit more uh, armor points and a little bit more of, you know, a thicker armor uh, rating, but it's pretty good, it's pretty good start out armor and it's great for any low level characters or if you want to like start the game again and just have it as like a witcher playthrough which is pretty damn cool i like the sound of that i think i want to do something like that as well maybe even do sort of like a mini series on my channel but the weapons i'm going to be using with this character obviously i uh, had to choose between steel swords and uh, silver swords because the witches use steel swords for humans i believe and silver for beasts there is a mod where you can actually get it, so when you dual wield a weapon, it actually shows up on your back, like like Geralt actually equips his weapons, he has them, you know, one on each sort of shoulder blade, kind of, one uh, blade or one sword on each uh, shoulder blade. There is a mod for that, I just didn't choose to install it because I'm not actually going to be using two weapons, I'm going to, I thought I'd go with sort of the Igni. Uh, spell effect, you know, he has the ignite or the fire sort of spell available, the uh, the Geralt does, he never really runs around with two swords at once, does he? He uses a spell or, you know, some kind of ability and a sword, he never dual wields, so I thought that wasn't too accurate, because to get both of the swords appearing on your back with that dual wield or uh, mod or, you know, dual equip mod, you actually need to equip both of them and run around, you know, dual wielding and you never see Geralt doing that. At least uh, I haven't seen that before. So I'm going to be rocking with the, uh, the fire ability. You could use, I guess, any ability or any spell. But, you know, Geralt's got quite a limited selection of spells and abilities. And one of those most, you know, the one of the more used ones is the Igni one. Yeah, the fire one. We've got a few dead dudes there. Uh, just don't mind them. So I'm going to be rocking with that. I'm going to be using a steel sword because I couldn't get hold of a, a silver sword. I do not know where to find those goddamn things. And you can find them in the companion's quest line. But like I said, this character is pretty low level, so I haven't really bothered with that quest line yet. I haven't really uh, pr uh, progressed along that quest line, so I couldn't find a goddamn silver sword. I suppose you could use a silver sword if you want, but it's still accurate. A steel sword is still going to be accurate. And uh, I think that is as accurate and to it to a Witcher and to Geralt as possible. It looks pretty damn cool. One thing note is the armor, the starting armor mod, it's only for males. It's a, like a male only, a man only armor set. You can't equip it on a female character, for example. But then again, Geralt isn't female, so if you equip this uh, face on a female character, that's going to look really odd. That's going to look really freaking crazy. I guess you can, though, because the face is actually equipable on female characters. That will look crazy. Let me know if any of you guys actually do that. That will look uh, very eerie and very, uh, very odd indeed. But another mod, the third mod that I mentioned earlier on, the Notice Board mod, this actually adds notice boards here these are basically sources of uh, quests you can find a bunch of quests here and again i'll leave the uh, the link for this mod in the description if i can find it this is going to give you a bunch of quests and this is inspired by what is in the witcher 3 and i think in the witcher 2 i think yeah they did have it in the witcher 2 i'm not sure about the witch one because i never played the witcher one but the witcher 2 and the witcher 3 it's inspired by that they had like notice boards in the Witch 2 and 3, where you could go and just get, you know, kind of like Radiant quests, just, you know, sort of secondary quests, not uh, not ones they had to complete at all, they were just uh, optional, they didn't really have any significance or, or relevance to the main quest, they were their own little quests, and uh, this mod adds something like that, it adds a notice board into Skyrim, it adds, uh, this will be in basically every city as well, this is in, not just in Rift, and it's in most cities, I know it's in Salt Jude, I think one's in Whiterun, I think it's in basically all of the cities and all of the major settlements it's a very even if you don't want to play as a witch or don't want to do this witch play style character build thing it is uh, still a very handy and uh, awesome mod to install because it just gives you a bunch of extra sort of uh, secondary quests to complete and it's a really good source of gold as well because you'll get paid for all of these quests and they're not really that difficult they're really not some of these can be difficult but they're not really that difficult and i thought i'd read through all of these I had to read through all of these, and I thought the most Geralty one, or the most, uh, the witchery one, would be Slay the Beasts. You know, collecting silver side perch, fish, going fishing doesn't seem very much like what Geralt would do, or collecting refined moonstones. Again, I don't think uh, Geralt would do that, but looking for pelts, killing animals for pelts, or slaying the beast, I'm going to go with slaying the beast. I think that would be pretty similar to what he would do, so I'm going to take this, we're going to go with that quest there. I don't know how much gold I'll be paid for this. Let me just go into my uh, go into my quest list here. Let me just find where it is. Miscellaneous to slay the beast located at Clear Spring 
ton, so we should be able to get the objective. Is that is that where we're supposed to go? No, that is not where we are supposed to go. Let me just see if I can unselect that and select this. Alright, so I've made it to near where this beast is. We're about to do some goddamn witchering right now, right there. Clear Spring Tarn. I didn't know where the hell that thing was. This place was, so I had to uh, had to look around on the map for quite a while, and then I saw it uh, popping up as an under undiscovered uh, location. We found it eventually, though. What the? Is this that? Is this what? Is this all we've got to kill? I do not know. Oh crap! I am a low level, though, so, so this is probably going to be quite quite tough. I don't know if that's all we have to kill. As you saw there, it's actually a lot light armor. This class is as light armor. I guess we'll take. Take that, but yeah, there, there's a bunch of quests that you can complete on the uh, on the notice board quest and the notice board uh, missions. But I thought that this was the most witchery one. We've got a few more. There's definitely a lot of wolves in The Witcher 3. I know that there's a lot of wolves in that in that goddamn game. So this is kind of accurate to The Witcher. I uh, I guess. Do we need to go up here? I don't know. I do not know if we've kill, killed the beast yet. I haven't seen like a, a quest pop yet though. So I, I don't know. Maybe not. I feel like such a witcher right now. It is a very, very cool uh, outfit to use, though. It's such a cool-looking outfit. It's one of the like the coolest, um, the coolest modded outfits in the game. I've seen a lot of cool Game of Thrones ones. I've seen a lot of cool, uh, you know, other modded ones. But this is one of the cooler ones. I didn't mention it earlier, but this is actually from The Witcher Three. It's not from The Witcher Two or The Witcher One. It's actually from The Witcher Three. This, uh, this um, outfit is based on. Are we not there yet? It says, okay, so this isn't Clear Spring Tarn, apparently. Uh, somewhere up there. How the hell do you get up here? I want to do some witcher and I want to kill some goddamn beasts. Oh, please do not tell me you need to approach it from the other side of the mountain. I think you do. I think you actually do need to uh, climb down from the other side of the mountain. Well, that's not good for me. Oh, I've got a rock train. That's always good. Goddamn, I forgot the, joy the joys of, uh, of Skyrim. Of getting a disease every time you fight a, uh, a goddamn wild animal. That's not accurate to the Witcher. I guess they wouldn't get diseases. So we're going to head up there, I guess. Uh, I thought that was Clear Spring Tarn down there. We've killed more beasts, though. At least we got to kill more beasts. We'll head up there. We'll be back with you guys when I'm closer to it. All right, so I think I've found the path up. It's a pretty goddamn steep path, but it's quite simple. I don't know how I missed that. I came down from this side as well. I completely walked past it. There's a nice view up there, though. So when we're done killing the beasts, we'll get a pretty nice view. This uh, this album has served me pretty well. I've killed a bunch of, like I said, what level am I? I'm level 8, uh, playing on uh, standard difficulty, I think. So I should have got wrecked by all those wolves back there, but it's a pretty good set of armor. It's probably better than the equivalent, or what you'd usually have at level 7 or level 8. Unless you get a hold of steel armor, in which case, that's probably going to beat it. But this is classed as light armor. Cool if they added a heavy armor version. There is some other Witcher 3 armor mods available, but they, you know, they, uh, the, the armor that they add um, to the crafting selection and, you know, to the, the, the armors that you can actually make because of that mod, you have to learn, like, you know, steel crafting or data crafting for some of them. And those are some heavy armor mods. Some of those armor outfits are heavy armor as well. But the, uh, they take a lot longer and you need a high level character to get them usually. Are these? Okay, okay, where's the beast? Which, it's not the, don't tell me it's the deer. Have we completed that mission? It's like the beast located at Clear Spring Tarn. I don't see any beast. You guys see any beast? Some hunters, I suppose I could go all, uh, go all the river on them and kill them. There's a dragon thing up there, there's a dragon thing up there. Oh crap, maybe there's, maybe there's Spriggans. Is that what the, uh, the fog was from? got some pretty heavy mods on uh, on this right now. It's looking pretty damn cool. Skyrim is looking pretty damn cool right now. I don't see any beasts. Maybe we already killed the beast? I don't know. I, I highly doubt it was that down there. I don't I actually don't know. I can't see anything here. I'm guessing it's not the hunters. Although they seem to have seen something. They're wandering around like the uh like they see something. I did, uh, I did think there was going to be some kind of uh, cave troll up here. Or something. Maybe that's what the... Oh, help! What's happening? 
I don't know what these guys are doing. They're looking up at something. Oh, okay. Maybe these are the beasts. Something. Lydia just killed those. Maybe those were the beasts. Maybe that's what we were supposed to kill. I do not know. I can't see any other beasts. Those hunters were useless. They were just looking and staring. Asking people for help. Obviously not going to come when we're in the middle of the uh, the goddamn wild. The middle of the countryside. I don't know where this beast is. I really don't. But, you know, it's a good mod. I think I'm going to cut it out there. Because I can't find it. And this is confusing me. And it's crazy. But very good mods. Like I said, I'll link them in the description. It's really awesome. I'm probably going to play more of Skyrim with this sort of persona. With this sort of uh, witcher play style and character build it's really cool it is really cool and it's uh, you know the two of the uh, greatest if not well they are the two greatest in my opinion fantasy rpgs out there skyrim and the witcher so melding them in any way possible is very very cool and it's really really cool that uh, you can sort of get kind of a witchery experience and obviously you can find any, find any other quests that are sort of hunt the beast or kill the beast type quests and you know Go all witcher on that as well and do do the do the witcher thing and hunt them down in this awesome armor and uh, Geralt's beautiful uh, very clean face in fact I'm gonna take the uh, I'm gonna let me show you how big this guy's face is without see that, that they were hiding that ugly ass orc's face underneath that mask I do not know how but uh, yeah they did it it's a very cool mod it, it's really cool the armor doesn't look quite as cool with an orc as it does with uh, Geralt's actual face but like I said uh, all those three all three of those mods I went through a bunch of Witcher themed mods and those seem like the best and the most fitting and the most sort of uh, accurate to a Witcher's experience they seem very cool and those are the ones that I've uh, I've chosen then again though you can just search the Witcher or Witcher into like mod searches if you're on Xbox or PlayStation you can search it on the uh, the mod store, you know, the mod sec section of the main menu. And obviously, if you're on PC, you can search it on the Nexus or on Bethesda.net. Just search The Witcher, just search The Witcher 3, or anything to do with The Witcher, and you should come up with a bunch of mods. But these were my favorites. These, these were the ones that I thought were the most accurate and the most Witcher-like. But anyway, that's going to bring it to the end of this video. I hope you guys find it enjoyable or helpful. If you did, leave a like. It would really help me out, and I would really appreciate it. If you want to see any more of my videos, definitely stick around and subscribe. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.